that thing that you just put everything into. And so anything that you're in the zone in, you've got passion. passion. Two things that came to my mind were different and unique. Uh. With passion. I wrote my first song when I was seven. There's a real intimate experience you feel from her when you hear her music. Creating music brings me joy. I love music, I love listening. I love when a music has an effect on me. I want it to be real, yeah. When I'm creating it, I'm in it. And I will have an emotional effect on myself while I'm singing it. There's this personal attachment kind of vibe that she has from a vocal perspective and just what she writes about, what she talks about, and her approach. My intention is honestly to reach out and freaking grab your heart and hold it there and not let go. <laughs> right here. In my heart. Medieval Couture. Medieval Couture. I'm Iz Avila. I'm Bobby Ross Avila. And together we are the Avila Brothers. They know how to uh, make hit songs. The journey of uh, being a musician, a producer, songwriter, it's very lengthy. Just genius at what they do. When you're working with this level of professionals, it's all about the art. It's all about the beauty and the aesthetics and the art. In the cloud, pretty much just kind of came from talking to her and just kind of getting a vibe and a sense of who she is. Then we say, well, what does it feel like? It feels like in the cloud. It also inspired her to write what that means to her. We just kind of create, we let, we let God in the room. That's it, that's all yeah. we do. There's so many things that music serves a purpose for, but I love it when something just goes Vroom. I'm not looking for a thing, romance. I was very taken by the tone and timbre and vibrato that she has. Narada Michael Walden, multiple Grammys, multiple number one hit records, produced Passion. He's like, this is completely your vibe, your music. So then I wrote the lyrics to it. She sounds like a living Nina Simone. So She's a powerhouse. And I was taken by that sound because it's a very unique sound. She's a mover, flamenco-esque performer, drama. So in the writing, I had to go into my drama closet and get what she can, she can do her thing on. And the other thing, word, word in the hood is that she worked with this other cool Mexican named Carlos Santana. Narada's like, yeah, Santana would love this. And uh, yeah, we definitely have a lot going on in terms of our vibe and our energy, and it is very apparent in passion. Look at me, Shana. And just move in that space where it's comfortable, okay? Your music sounds like you're, it's like gut wrenching. It's like in your heart. When I met Troy, Immediately, we connected. His eye in pulling clothes, his ability to see what makeup's needed, what's not needed for the mood, he's just brilliant. Now we're like smoking the eyes out. We've got some fun things to play with. Yeah, we do. So we found these like amazing art pieces and classic, beautiful imagery. Something more timeless, I think. I'm truly honored to be in the ranks of all these amazing, beautiful, aesthetic people. I love music, and I love the ideas that are flowing with working with Kyra. It's just a different kind of emotion that I don't get a chance to use that much. And I think Kyra has something that definitely separates her from all the rest, you know? And I think it's so crucial for her to really believe in what she has and what makes her special, and we're here to support that. That's right. Let the world chase you, don't chase it. Yeah. Kyra? Okay. <laughs> I, 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 they both sound good.
Kai is, I like Kai because it's just like, bam. But then yeah, Kyra's got a vibe. Let it roll. <laughs>